Hey guys, my name is Michael. Um, I'm currently at like 11.5k a month uh, with Go High Level SaaS, and I just want to kind of break down my story for you guys so you know how I got there. I have two Stripe accounts. This is my old one, but you can kind of see here. Hold on, let me show you. There you go. How we kind of went up here. So boom, 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 8.6. That's almost like 10k. And then if I just move this thing here to show you like the actual social proof. So right now, yeah, this month we're going to hit like uh, 11.5. You can see the MRR, 11.5. So we're probably a little, little bit more because we're like halfway through the month right now. It's like the 15th of November. But um, yeah, this is basically going to be the story, kind of how I got there. Uh, it's it's kind of portrayed out to be a lot easier than it actually is. But the reality of it is that with with Go High Level SaaS or SMMA or whatever it may be, you know, it's it's really not as easy as you would probably think, to be completely honest. Like even me, I... Uh, <laughs> I remember still, I joined Iman Ghazi's course in like June of 2023. So you can see right here, I had my Stripe and everything set up. I was going to do SMMA, work with real estate agents, all the good stuff, right? Kind of started with that, did cold calling, really put my all into it. And it just really didn't work out. Like I just, I just got absolutely fucked. So yeah, that happened for like, honestly, like a couple of months. So this is kind of like the start of when I literally just got into this world, to be honest. And, you know, I was doing SMMA hated the real estate agents just you know a lot of broke people in it they, re they really didn't vibe with me either that's why I, I guess it's so important to choose a niche with people that you're actually going to like more or less or that you have like some kind of like you know you can have like some kind of relationship with i suppose so i literally did that for a couple of months cold calling like four hours a day like fucking thousands of cold calls i'm really good at that by now <laughs> and uh, eventually just ended up switching niches honestly to the um to the gym space because you know i'm low-key kind of big but uh <laughs> basically I, I i ended up switching to those people because i thought i would you know i would like speaking to them more and they'd be better clients you know that, that turned out to be very false as well i was actually going to do a different service which was like database reactivations with like ai backed up behind it had like this entire system built out completely wasted my fucking time by the way guys um did not work out like you can literally see from june here the zero 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 dollars zero dollars zero 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 all the way up to like February. So at February, I was at my fucking wit's end, right? I, I really, I was at a job, I graduated here. Um, I was, you know, I was at a job, a new job basically, which which was really what I wanted as a software engineer from like, you know, July till the end of December. I fucking hated it there. I was, was going through a really tough period, it was like, you know, 95 kilos, like what is it, like 215 pounds. It's pretty ripped still, but you know, it was fucking rough. Um, decided to quit my job because I was going half ass on both my job and my agency basically because I didn't have the time to actually dedicate it to it. So I decided to go all in, quit my job in December, had some money saved up so I could actually move and, uh, you know, had, you know, I, I could actually make some moves. I mean, I was living at home, so I had to give up my car, had to give up my job, had to give up like fucking everything. It literally didn't leave the house for months. Um, and then, yeah, then I, then I guess I was really starting to grind. Uh, really, really went all in with everything. Went to Colombia in like January or whatever. Um, like one one last holiday for me with the boys. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, things kind of started to, to come up a little bit more in February. Uh, that's actually when I switched to the contracting niche. That's where I'm in right now. And I started to do SaaS. So building out like marketing systems and websites and stuff like that for actual contractors. I think I made my first little bit of money here. This might have been from the gym niche still actually. This little bit of money here. Um, but then, yeah, like you can see here in March, this is like two and a half grand or something like that in dollars. And I was starting to get a bunch of clients. I think I got like 17 clients in, in like 10 days. So I was really starting to hit it off with these contractors. I was doing an immense amount of volume. Like I was, I was in a rough, rough period. So all I did was grind. Like I didn't have a car, only went to the gym. I was fucking running in the rain, like, like five miles to the gym, threw him back like every day, like David fucking Goggins style. <laughs> So it was, it was a very rough period for me, to be completely honest. Um, but yeah, I made it work. Started to close deals, really, you know, start to believe in yourself. Because to be honest, the, the only thing you really need is, is that first sale to prove you that it is possible to make money online and you can do this. And it's definitely, it can definitely be very difficult, but it is, it is absolutely possible. And it's very simple, but just not easy. So you can see I went up, you know, it took me like two months to get to like 6K basically. So I was going up very, very rapidly doing cold calling, cold SMS, closing deals left and right. I had like, I was booking like 20, 30 appointments a fucking day, right? So I was like cold calling, like 
eight to 12 hours a day. <laughs> so anyone, anyone who's out there who's done cold calling knows, uh, knows that this is a real grind and this was a fucking struggle. So yeah, I, I already knew a bunch of people from communities and stuff as well. So this was literally all I was doing, right? Only business, business, business this is all I was doing. And I actually ended up breaking up with my girlfriend of six years. Um, not because I wanted to, because I really, really love this girl, but just because cause I, I didn't want to live in my country, basically. basically. I'm from Belgium originally, and I, I knew I had to sacrifice, um, and I had to break up with her because I wanted to move in with a friend I had who's also running a business from Spain, because I thought together we would more than likely you know be able to grow faster and, um, and share our knowledge and stuff like that. So that's what I ended up doing. It was, uh, it was very, very tough for me, to, to be completely honest. But I guess I guess it was worth the price, um, you know. So I moved in in May, I believe. So actually, actually didn't make that much progress here. Um, I actually, for some reason, guys, <laughs> for love of God, stick with whatever you're doing. But for some reason, I thought these guys are terrible and sass. They're not gonna stick. And you know, I still have most of them now. Like all these months later, it's like in November now. Um, and yeah, I thought they weren't gonna stick. So I was like, okay, let me do SMMA. So I switched to SMMA here for contractors, and it was just, I, I, I was good at sales already, good at closing deals. I was good at, you know, getting people through the door. So I got, I closed like seven deals on that, on like a performance model, and it was just an absolute fucking shit show. I did not want to deal with that. I absolutely hated it. It was very, very tough. So I was kind of lost, you know, w with what the kind of deal. Um, and then, yeah, I, I guess I went back to, to the SaaS model because that, that actually did make the most sense for me and it, and it actually was was a way better model than I ever even thought because it was like I'm literally making like six grand here I'm not talking to anyone I'm not doing anything for anyone and I'm just getting money coming in like it was like fucking insane right um, so I ended up switching back to that um, then ended up moving to so you can see where am I here I was building out like a ton of marketing assets like a really good website and stuff like that a bunch of stuff to like you know actually look reputable and become like a, like a legitimate business and brand so you see, I moved up a little bit here, 8.6K. And then in September, I ended up moving to Spain. And I also got a new stripe here, by the way. So let me actually show you guys that. Let's see. Yeah, cool. So where are we? August. Yeah, cool. There you go. So I ended up moving to Spain, actually. Um, I, excuse me. I ended up moving to, to Hawaii. <laughs> That's where I am right now with, with a guy doing the exact same business like me. We've literally known each other for like almost a year now. Um, been been grinding at it together, literally been, been the exact same struggle. We're a very good team. We have very good uh, like aligning skill sets. Basically, like we're the exact opposite of each other. I'm more of a systems guy. He's like more of an, an ideas guy, I guess you could say. Then yeah, we've been really building this out. Um, you know, figuring out the the paid ads marketing. So right now, I'm really just doing like uh, Facebook ads to be completely honest. To like do acquisition, which I'll start with cold SMS again because it's a really good acquisition strategy, actually, guys. Um, but yeah, you can kind of see here, like, like I've been moving up a lot, like from September to October in a month, I added like three to four K basically an MRR. And, uh, right now we're at like 11.5, like we're the 15th, we're like halfway through the month. I'm at like eight K here. It's not hundred percent correct, but you know, it, it does bring the point across. Like you can see even here, 11.5. Um, but yeah, this is basically the journey to, to 10 K a month, to be honest, it's very, very tough. It's really not what, what people make it out to be. It's not nearly nearly as easy as, as people would honestly say and um and yeah it, it can be a fucking struggle but it is possible i've done it and now it is honestly easier than ever to, to close deals like i have like a 70 percent close rate at this point short rates getting better marketing's in place but you know those the, those first like months or years or whatever it may be to get from like zero to 10k a month it's fucking brutal like it, it really is <laughs> like it's it's not easy at all um so yeah, I guess I guess that's my story for now. I'll keep you guys updated with the new things I'm doing. I'm trying to get to like 20k a month pretty soon. Um, so if I reach that, I'll basically give you guys an update. And then yeah, hopefully in the near future, when uh, when I'm very ready to do so, I'll I'll maybe teach you guys something as well, so you can see exactly how this stuff really works and how you can actually get one of these businesses yourself. Because I genuinely believe it's way better than SMMA just because you have recurring revenue, which you don't have to worry about, right? So. Yeah, um, leave a comment, guys. Subscribe. I'll leave my Instagram in the in the bio as well if you want to ask me some questions. You can just contact me through there. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.